Hello homebrewers, happy homebrew Wednesday, and a few weeks back I had a little bit of a dilemma. Airlock or blow off tube. So I finally decided what I'm going to do for my next brew. I'm thinking a, a high gravity stout or porter. I haven't quite made up my mind for definite yet. Now if you've seen a fair few YouTube videos uh, where brewers have um, brewed some uh, high gravity high alcohol stouts or porters, then you will have noticed that there is some real severe vigorous fermentation going on with those. Mainly because of the, the sheer amount of yeast cells that you need to pitch into the beer to get a, a good steady fermentation going. Um, the problem with this is it's not regular Croissant. Regular Croissant in a low alcohol percentage beer might be um, maybe two or three inches. But with these high alcohol beers and high gravity beers, oh no, that Krausen is spewing straight out of the top of airlocks just like this. So this is going to be DIY episode number two, because I've decided, as this is going to be a high gravity beer, that for safety and for just precautions, I'm going to switch over to a simple blow off tube. So if there is some really vigorous fermentation and there's a lot of Croissant, it's got somewhere to go um, and it's not going to potentially ruin the beer and make it unsanitary and all of that jazz. So let's talk about um, why I've decided to DIY a blow off tube. Firstly, um, I don't really want to spend any more money at this time. If you've seen some of my other videos, you'll know that I'm, um, I'm a one for not spending money. Uh, it would be nice to spend a fair bit, but uh, it's money that I don't have. So what can you do? So let's look at what I'm working with. The first thing is my fermentation lid, because obviously I'm going to need to create a blow off tube that fits this bad boy. I've got a ruler around here somewhere. Um, I thought I, what have I done with that? I thought I'd put it right next to stuff ah, here it is so let's take a, a measurement it's such a small opening this was a pre-drilled one when I actually bought it um, it measures in diameter about 15 mil 15 mil diameter hole that usually our airlock and bung fits very snugly into so the piping that I just happened to have, um, my local homebrew store was very kind enough to just give this to me because I said I'm, I'm going to be making a, a, a blow off tube. This piping actually has a diameter of, let's see here, about 14 mil. So there's like about, there's about one mil clearance between um, the lid of the fermenting vessel. Let's just get a little bit more here. The lid, uh, about yeah, one mil diameter between the lid of the fermenting vessel and the actual blow-off tube itself, and you can see there the clearance is just going straight through. So of course this isn't going to stop CO2 leakage. So the DIY part of this is actually me creating some kind of makeshift bung, so that I can put this blow-off tube into the fermenting lid, and it's got a good airtight seal. So the CO2 can run through this hose into maybe some sanitizing fluid or any croissant uh, that may be spewing out the top has somewhere to go and it's not just going to come out the top of the airlock because there isn't an airlock. So anyway, uh, let's look at the DIY side of things. This is very simple, hence why this video is so short. All I've simply done is I've taken just a strip of elastic band um, and over it I've just taped some electrical tape, about um, three layers of electrical tape to make sure that that elastic band isn't going anywhere. And you can see that it has a slight ridge and of course being made of rubber just like any bung there is some give to the rubber band which means that it should sit quite comfortably in to the hole in the fermentation lid. So let's just push it through, see what kind of fitting we get. 
it's a little bit hard to get in there but that is a nice tight fit that really isn't bad at all so so there we have it I mean this isn't rocket science you know this experiment could be a complete failure but it's a it's a little DIY video I just wanted to do just to give you a heads up on this um, so the sequel to this video essentially DIY video number three is going to be this in action so I'm going to take a little snippet of video uh, during the most active and vigorous fermentation of this beer once I've brewed it probably maybe let's say two or three days into fermentation it's probably going to start kicking off uh, with high croizen so if it doesn't work you'll hear from me if it does work you'll hear from me but this is my simple solution to fitting a blow-off tube to an english style fermenter happy homebrew wednesday thanks for watching guys